Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about uh, the function concept in C++ programming. So what do you mean by functions in C++? Not only in functions, uh, not only in C++, normally what is the meaning of function? So it consists of a set of statements that has to be executed to perform any operation. In order to perform any task, we can have some set of statements and those statements uh, uh, combinedly we can call it as a function. Otherwise, it is also be defined as it groups a number of program statements into a single unit that is used for performing any particular task. That is what function. So what is the reason of uh, having function in a programming languages? So it will provide some organization of a program. So which means uh, it will provide some specific structure to the program. So it is actually providing the conceptual organization of a program. And another reason why we have the function in programming languages, which is nothing but it will reduce the program size. So how we are telling the size of the program will be reduced with the help of this functions. So if you have some set of statements and you want to execute for more than one time. So if you repeatedly include those statements in your program, it will increase the length of the program. So it will increase the size of the program. So instead of doing like that, if you have the functions in your program, so functions are nothing but some set of statements will be included and it can be executed more than one time in the program. So here we are including some set of statements, whatever the things you need to execute more than once. So you can make it as a function. So you can define it only once and you can execute it more than once. That is what the functions. So this was the main reason why we have functions in the programming language. Now, what could be the structure of the function? So how can we define the function or how can we use the function in the program? So whichever the program that uses the function is said to be the calling program. Whichever the program that, uh, I mean, um, whichever the function. So if the function has in the program and that program has been divided into two parts. So one is said to be the main function and another one is said to be the user defined function. So user defined function which could be defined by the user that is what it got the name. So any name can be provided by the user to the function. So these are different from the predefined function or it is also said to be the library function. So library or predefined functions or the functions which we defined already we can use it we cannot change it that is what the library function. But user defined functions, it is purely defined by the user. So what are all the statements we have under that function? So it could be divided, I mean, devised by the user itself. So that is what user defined function. So normally we have the main function and that, that particular function will call the user defined function. Calling is nothing but uh, it is also said to be invoking the function which means if you want to execute some set of statements whatever the things we defined inside the function then you need to call that function. Only with the help of the function calling statement the compiler will execute that particular function. So the main function is said to be the calling program uh, or the calling function and um, the user defined function is said to be the called function or the called program okay so here we have defined so how to uh, define the function so if you have the function in the program how the structure of the program will be so here we have some function and this particular function calls to i mean this is actually the user defined function and now so whenever you are defining it so first before uh, calling the function so you should uh, declare it or you should define it so we have the function definition here and we are just calling it by using the function calling statement so how to declare the function or how to define the function so the other components of the functions are function declaration calls to function, function definition and function declarator. 
so if you look at this this is it to be the function declaration so whenever before you are defining it you should declare it so if you don't declare the function then uh, the compiler will produce the error um, so it cannot understand what is the name of that function so if you have only the function definition in the uh, program without declaring it then it will produce the error so you should declare it before defining the function suppose if you are defining it uh, before the main function so usually we will start the program only with the main function main statement because as we all know the execution starts only with the main statement so we will be starting the program with the main function and it followed by uh, it follows the uh, followed by we will be having the user defined function suppose if you are defining the user defined function before the main function then no need of declaration statement will be included in the program so this is what we have so let us see one example program for functions so here we have the statement as include io string which is nothing but whenever you want to execute any c++ program this is the particular header file which you need to include so here we have the function declaration statement void star line star line is one of the function it is a user defined function and we have declared it so each and every function declaration statement must be terminated by semicolon then we have started with the main function and inside the main function we have called this user defined function that is star line this is what function calling statement so here we have the see out statement which is used to, to display any uh, output string whatever the thing we have uh, included inside this double quotes so this will be displayed followed by this endl endl is nothing but one of the manipulator which is used to print the or uh, display the next line so whatever the output you want to display that should be uh, displayed in the next line in the output screen so that is what uh, in order to change the format of the output we can use this endl so next one we are just calling this star line function again so we have called the same function multiple times in the same program that is also possible that is possible right so uh, how many times you want to execute the same function uh, we can do it and the next one we have included the see out statement so it will display all these uh, string output string whatever we have included here and then again we are just invoking the same function star line function and where we have the star line function definition so here we have the function definition so it defining the function is nothing but it is a function prototype it follows the body of the function body of the function is nothing but whatever the statement that you want to execute inside that function all those statements will be uh, included that is what the body of the function so here we have included one for loop and in that for loop we have one statement see out asterisk so this asterisk has to be displayed for 45 times so next one see out endl so your uh, output will be whatever the thing you want to display so that will be displayed in the next line so this is what function definition whenever you calling the same function the control will be transferred to the control will be transferred to this particular function definition so you have invoked the same function for uh, uh, three times in the main function main program so at all those lines this uh, control will be transferred to this function definition and it will execute this particular statement and this is what function definition so it is a normal uh, program which implements the concept of function and one more thing we can eliminate the declaration so how can we eliminate declaration by giving this function definition before the main function but here we have defined only the main function initially and afterwards we have defined this user defined function suppose if you include this whole uh, function definition before the main function then no need of this declaration statement we can eliminate this function declaration statement if you define it before this main function itself 
okay so these are all the things that comes under the normal uh, function so next one we will discuss about how to pass the arguments to any particular function so if you want to pass the argument to the function so uh, what is actually arguments so we have discussed in the previous program so we have only simple function without any arguments suppose if you want to pass arguments that is also possible a function that has some value to hold right to hold and to assign to some other variables inside that function local variables so local variable which we used to call the variables which we defined inside that user defined function all those are said to be local variable so to that particular variable if you want to assign any value and that value you can get it as a argument you can get it only with the help of the argument so let us see one another program for this concept passing arguments so here we have one specific user defined function and it holds two arguments so the first argument is of type character and the second argument is of type integer so whenever you are passing any arguments you should determine what is the type of the argument and here it ends with semicolon so it is nothing but function declaration statement and in the main function so we have started with the function calling statement at the very first statement is nothing but function calling statement and in the function calling statement what we are doing here we are passing some value so to where these values will be assigned so here from here the control will be transferred to the function definition wherever we have the function definition to that statement the control will be transferred and these values will be passed on to the variables whatever we defined locally to that function and we have this see out statement it will be displayed as it is and again we have called the same function with the different values has been passed to that arguments okay and now so this is nothing but the argument value which we are passing for these character and integer type isn't it and next we have the same set of uh, c out statements in order to display all this output string and again we have called this uh, function calling statement so this will be passed over while invoking that function and where we have the function definition so here we have the function definition void so here we have the function the same name of the function and it has two arguments one is of type character and another is of type integer so what is the first argument uh, name which is nothing but ch and this is nothing but n so whatever the value we have passed over while invoking this function all those values will be assigned to this variable ch and n so we cannot call this as a variable we can call it as a parameters so in the called uh, uh, program so whatever the uh, values we have all those are said to be the parameters and in the calling function so whatever the values you are just passing over and the, all those are said to be arguments so whenever uh, in some textbook it uh, it it may change interchangeably which means they are, they will call those as a parameters and this is said to be the arguments but not a problem right so it is said to be the parameters so what could be the output of this program so first whatever the values it is received initially which is nothing but hyphen and this one is 43 so it will display that hyphen for 43 times so it will display so the those uh, hyphen will be display and afterwards it will execute this c out statement so it will display this data type range and again this function has been invoked with the different values of the arguments so it will execute this function again with these two different values so it will display it as equal to for uh, 23 times 23 times so that is the value we have passed here so based on the value whatever the thing we are passing over while invoking that function the those values will be copied on to that parameter value and afterwards the uh, output statement will be displayed and after this equal to line so all these output string will be displayed as it is 
so this is what the output of this program which uh, consists of parsing arguments so next one is parsing variable so here in this uh, program we don't have so if you look at this in this program uh, we have passed only the constant value so instead of this constant value we can also pass it as a variables so you need to declare one set of very two set of variables here and you need to get the values from the user if you want otherwise you can assign those values to the variables in the program itself so using see out and see in statement you can get the values of those two variables and the variable can be passed over here instead of the constants that is also possible passing by variables or passing in uh, uh, passing by value this is what passing by value and we can also pass some variables instead of values itself and one more thing while we are declaring the function that holds some arguments we can also give the differentiation like this names in declaration so whenever you are declaring this function name with two arguments so if you it is enough to include only the uh, argument type but if you give the name for the argument name for the argument in the declaration statement itself then it will be very easy to understand what is the concept behind these two variables if you define only the argument type which is nothing but int int so it is going to get some integer values both the argument but here if you define its name so what kind of uh, value it will get it is nothing but integer value so which is named as horizontal and which is named as vertical so here it is going to get the horizontal point and here it is going to get the vertical point so like that we can understand the meaning of the argument also if you define its name in the declaration statement itself it is also possible okay so far we have discussed about the functions concept and uh, how to pass arguments to that functions and what how it differs from the parameters and how can we pass the variables or values thank you